Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by the video. As you can tell, I don't make a lot of videos, so what better time to start than with a new build? I uh, have been getting a lot more into photography and uh, have kind of started dabbling in some video editing. And my daughter has been uh, wanting to do more coding and uh, working with AutoCAD, so some rendering programs. So I thought it was time to replace the seven-year-old gaming rig with something that would be a lot more beneficial to our productivity while still being able to uh, game. All right, so let's start going over the parts that we're going to have in our new build. So. Uh, we have the RM650X modular power supply by Corsair. I also have an ASUS DGX sound card pulled from the older system. Also from the older system, I have a crucial 480 gigabyte SSD, which will be our project drive. We have the ASUS B450 motherboard. This is a micro ATX motherboard. At the heart of the system, we're going to be running the Ryzen 5 2600. I have picked up the Corsair Vengeance uh, LPX RAM. This is going to be 16 gigs at 3000 megahertz. Our boot drive will be the Crucial P1. This is a 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. For data storage, I have also pulled from an older system a 1.5 terabyte Western Digital Black hard drive. To cool our CPU, we're going to be utilizing the Corsair H100 Pro uh, AIO setup. And pulled from my old system again is the uh, XFX R9390X graphics card. And uh, I'm personally not a big fan of RGB lighting, but I do like to have something in there. So we're going to throw in some Corsair AF120 white LED fans. And to house this awesome little project, we are going to be utilizing the Corsair 200 uh, Crystal 280X. This is going to be the black version, uh, non-RGB. All right, let's get to building. Alright, I had to look this up. I thought there were screws, but the front panel here, it looks like it just pulls off. Now there is a piece of glass on there, so just be very careful. There you go. So it has little clips all the way around, but it is a glass panel, so we're going to put that back. So, uh, one misconception with power supplies is the back end of it is your intake fan and the main fan on the bottom is your exhaust, but that's not true. This is your intake fan. This is your exhaust fan back here. So what we're going to do is feed our power supply in just like so. And on this case, there's a, a big opening on the back end of it um, for, uh, to allow airflow through. So it's going to pull right through that right through that case. All right, so we had the radiator installed onto the um, onto the case. And so the next step is going to be getting the motherboard prepped. Uh, so we're going to pop open our ASUS motherboard and kind of a nice little trick is just to build it on top of the box. Uh, keeps the static electricity away from your motherboard and gives you a little bit of a nice surface to, to work off of.
Time for the moment of truth. Let's see how it wins. Alright, so that was the build, and it was a lot of fun to make, and uh, I definitely like having the micro ATX case versus my old full tower case. Um, now I get the video is rough. I am a novice at this, and we will definitely be practicing more. Uh, one thing I'm going to invest in is more lighting. I noticed just how dark those shots were when uh, going back and editing the video, so we're going to get some more lighting and really brighten up those shots. Uh, the one thing I wanted to touch on, though, that I find really interesting is my graphics card, the R9 390. Um, I'm surprised at just how hot it runs in the micro ATX case. So in my old full tower case, uh, even under full load, it would hit maybe 75, 76 degrees Celsius. Uh, and in the micro ATX case, despite it having really good airflow, it's hitting 79 degrees Celsius uh, under load and... I have it power limited to negative 20%, um, and fans are currently running at 3,000 RPM. I have AMD link up. So, there's that. Um, so, the card is cleaned. The Both of the fans are running. It has the most up-to-date drivers, but it just runs so hot in the micro ATX case. Uh, I have Fortnite up in the background right now, um, and but nothing's going on in it. Uh, CPU temperatures are great though. CPU temperatures sitting at 36% uh, right now under load. Um, so we'll be getting a new graphics card for this setup, something that runs a lot cooler. Anyway, uh, thank you for making it again to the end of the video. And uh, if you feel like it wasn't a total crap video, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on there. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.